Hi, Marines. This is General Berger. Sergeant Major and I just wanted to take a couple minutes to talk with you all about where we are with the COVID-19 virus uh, response, what Marines are doing around the world, and uh, what we'd ask you to do as well. And I'll just start off by saying uh, there's a lot of information available, um, but at the end of the day, I would ask you to go to two places. Uh, one, first stop should always be your chain of command, your leaders within your unit. And the second would be to go to marines.mil because they've built a really nice COVID-19 kind of virus section on there where you can go for all the detailed information as well. Marines, the, the bottom line up front is I think we've, as we have seen over the last week to 10 days that the situation continues to be fluid. So I would ask everyone to continue to have maximum flexibility as we see either restrictions or rules or requirements sort of become more and more difficult to manage immediately. But after a period of time, things will begin to sort of play out over time. A lot of the information we have, our leaders will have it. And it's also at places like marines.mil where you can re read a whole, the whole section on coronavirus sure. and it explains all that. Uh, as well as the CDC website. Uh, and frankly, those are the two places you, you're going to find the most accurate information is either on the CDC website or on marines.mil. Uh, all that information is provided. And commanders are obviously sort of reinforcing those things on bases and stations. I'm sure most installations have a color coding system on them. Pay, but pay attention to those things. And for further information on what they really mean, go to those two websites, either the CDC or marines.mil under the COVID-19 uh, banner. Marines never leave another Marine behind. We, are, we always do things as a team, right? That's right, sir. And basically, we're all in this together, sir. I'll do that. Semper Fidelis.